بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين Welcome to the program Month of Allah We were talking about the connection of God in this month and we said that it is critical for human beings to be connected to God that a human that is not connected to God a human that does not, is not aware of Him that does not follow Him that does not obey Him according to the verses of the Holy Quran He is dead, He is not alive and that our goal in this month is to try to maximize this life, maximize our connection to God, to feel alive and to make other peoples feel alive. When we look at some of the traditions, we see that in the traditions it mentions that if a person does not have this faith, this iman to God, that they will have distress, that their heart is always moving. Their heart is moving between the throat and between the chest, it says, إِنَّ الْقَالْبُ لَيَتَرَجَّحْ فِي مَا بَيْنَ الصَّدْرِ وَالْحَنْجَرَةِ That the heart is moving between the throat and be moving between the chest. But what happens, but then when it gets tied with Iman, when it gets tied with the belief, in the firm belief in God, then it says, فَإِذَا أُغِدَ عَلَى الْإِيمَانِ قَرَّ and then that heart will become stabilized. It is a beautiful tradition in Al-Kafi from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam that our heart is moving between our throats and our chests, that we're always at distress, we're always, it moves constantly. But once we have faith, it becomes stable. And this is another effect of the connection to God. It brings us calmness, it brings us stability, no matter how many problems we face, because we have faith, because our heart is now stable, we don't have anxiety anymore, we don't have distress anymore, because we have reached certainty. When we look at other traditions, it's very interesting that dhikr and remembrance of God is a food for our souls, is a food for our hearts. وَجَعَلَ غِذَاءَهُ ذِكْرِ God has made the heart pure. God has made the heart purified. But has gathered, has made its food, thick and remembrance. So imagine a heart that does not receive remembrance of God. Imagine a person that is constantly thinking of everything else but besides God. A person that does not remember God. A person that does not pray. He is not connecting and talking to God. He is starving his himself. He is starving his heart. Other narrations we read, Constant, continuous remembrance of God is the food of the heart. Another attribute of connecting to God, another effect of connecting to God is that you will be having much more hope than before because hope itself is life in the tradition it says wa huwa yuhyi al-qalb raja in the tradition it says wa huwa yuhyi al-qalb raja and hope will make the life and the heart alive but what kills the nafs khawf wal khawf yumitu nafs but fear and fear of our actions fear of the consequences of our actions this causes our nafs and our desires to be killed. If you want to, if you're tired of following your desires, think and fear God. Say, what would happen if I disobey Him? You'll kill your nafs. But at the same time, if you want to live in your heart, another way to live in your heart is having hope of God. Once you have hope of naming Him, hope of heaven, hope of meeting the 12th Imam, inshallah, and hope of His global government that will fill the world, we will, be, we will be filled with hope, inshallah. Because the hope that we have in this connection to God, for us, is life, is hayat. And this is how we have been programmed. This is how Allah has designed us. This is how God wants us to live. When we read the Holy Quran, it says to us, وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ حَبَّبَ إِلَيْكُمُ الْإِيمَانِ Allah has made you love iman. Allah loves, makes, made us to love faith. And once we reach faith, it makes us have more certainty. 
and has beautified religion in your hearts. And has made you despise disbelief and defiance and disobedience. Therefore, this is something very natural for us to love faith, for us to be despised with disbelief, for us not to like sins and disobedience of God. This is something very natural for us. And when we come to the connection of God, we're going back to our original form of how we should have been. Therefore, something, everything becomes for us very natural and that it, our hearts become full of stability and strength. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته سيدينا الطاهرين